episodes you got out so far? The fact of ship? Yeah. Shit. We got damn near, we got really in total, we got damn near 80. 80, 80 episodes? Yeah. Right oh, here man. at the Academy, we started one because we believe in new beginnings. And right. We might be like, shit, what we did? Like, so five, coming up. five coming up, but we probably did like about. Same of them bitches. We run it up. And you, you had this lovely co-host the whole time. Absolutely, and and yeah, actually she took over when we used to have a revolving door of women being our host. You know what I'm saying? Instead of revolving and, door of women. Of course, but she's the queen wolf. She come and book our shit, so right. we only have other women when we at other shows out of town with Wolf <laughs> on uh, run them off the set. Right. Because <laughs> we play in the same box with. We asked some other chicks from out of town. Being aggressive with them. They were just talking about their pink cocaine that they did and trying to enjoy life. Your title, Wolf, how did you come up with that? Is that your biological name? Is that, that no, your last name? It was given to me by a kind gentleman. That's hard. That's a good, that's I won't say who. Yeah. <laughs> but, yes, it was just... How long you been going by Wolfie? How long, how long has this been going on? Uh, I don't know. You telling me the fuck? <laughs> I wasn't at a that gym. A long time. A long time. How long you been um, trenches on Clubhouse? The I Negro don't... app. That's the Negro hey, that's app. The side. Get this nigga we with a plate full of grapes. Get him. <laughs> we aligned with the line. <laughs> Yum. Trenches, I coined the trenches in late 2020. Maybe, no, 2021, I would say. And we really became the trenches in 2022, right. January. And... It just took off from there. And what type of discussions do you have on the trenches? Oh, man. It's a lot of drama. It's, 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 we call it audio reality. Audio reality. Yeah, they're, they're doing everything that people do on social media. They're linking up. They're falling out. They're right. Building relationships. So they're you're having paperwork up. parties, too? Paperwork parties. Oh, man. Um, Some of the best exposing. Ones <laughs> how, did, how, did, how did you get into such a business? That's a that's a male dominated business. That paperwork thing. What 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 attracted you to that? It's not really myself. It's my team. So I have I have a team of people. Levels, Heem, Chinky. Shout out to them. I coined the term the trenches, but my team. You know, we all come together and we all have a represent a different facet of it. So Levels, he's the person that really takes over the paperwork party. He handles right. the street the street aspect of it. Um, I'm also I'm more so like the voice of reason in it. So even talking about paperwork, relationships, crash outs, I'm the one that's going to bring it all together, right. summarize it, make it all, wrap it up in a bow and make it presentable. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a variety show. That's what I'm saying. It's a variety show. What days can I find you on it? I'm not going to find you on it. Oh, we're on there every day. What, every day? day? It's running right now. You know, I'm, I'm up here filming, but the trenches is going. I yeah. can turn my phone on. So when you absent, who's yeah. over there running things? My team. My team. We're always there. There's one of us always there. And then we have a whole community of people, right. you know, that's going to come in. So we have the trenches. It's like a community. But then there's other clubs, other teams that, you know, are under our umbrella that right. have clubs. They have rooms. They have, you know, content. They do their own thing, and we support them as well. Is there money on Clubhouse? No, that's the thing about Clubhouse. Um, that's why I really made an effort to take it beyond Clubhouse because right. Clubhouse doesn't monetize. Right. So which was, I don't know was why. This, was this your effort to go beyond Clubhouse com coming in? Yeah, this was like my first taste of even audio speaking, bringing yeah. my voice to a platform that's bigger than what we do on Clubhouse. It was more like a hobby. Okay. For so me. you're a rookie. I guess you can say that. Okay. Yeah. This your rookie year. Yeah, I'm new to this. Okay, shout out to I'm you. I'm new to this. I'm new to all this, right. but I feel like I'm a natural. I think Clubhouse prepared me for that, being up there all those years mm -hmm. and going through it. The good, the bad, the ugly, crashing out, arguing. Who's some of the most high-profile people who visited you on the trenches on Clubhouse? Oh, the high-profile people that I packed up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we done packed up 21 Savage, Amber Rose, um, a couple other people who are no longer important. But I would say the most like the most valuable relationship I have from the trenches probably is Wack One Hundred. Wack One Hundred, yeah. Oh, you fuck with Wack. You want these New York oh, yeah. Negroes to fuck with Wack? Oh yeah, that's my dog. Wack found the trenches and he never left. Why is Wack One Hundred such an integral part of the East Coast uh, media landscape? 
I'm gonna ask Troy the same thing in a second. Um, I think he knows that there are a lot of people who have gems here. There are a lot of diamonds in the rough on this side, and I think the thing with New York is that we don't support our own. We don't okay. support each other. I feel like one person will get on and they'll get on and they don't want anyone else to get on and I feel like that's the one thing that separates us from like the West Coast, Atlanta, these Cohesion. other areas. Yeah, we don't we don't stick together. And I think that um Wack is good at finding those diamonds in the rough and you know, he supports it. So a lot of people don't like it because they want to be the one to find it, but they also are not the ones that support, you know, the up and coming. Right. So I think he's good at seeing that and supporting that. And when he came to the trenches, he saw what we were doing, small community, but we're strong. Right. And he was like, I fuck with y'all. So when you say community, is that your, your, your following or how many people is in the, the chat room when you were? Yeah, community is the people that come every day. You know, they're at work, we're working, we're hustling, we're doing everything that we do, but we just commune together yeah. on this clubhouse platform. and. We speak, we listen to each other, we pop shit, we argue. It's day in and day out, you know? So a relationship is built. We might argue with each other, but we don't let anyone else from anywhere else right. come into our space and think that they're going to argue with any of us. So that's why. And when I built it, I thought of it like New York City. It's the five boroughs. We all different. Right. You know, Brooklyn might say, don't don't mistake me for the Bronx. Uh, I'm, not the, I'm not Harlem, but... Yeah. New York sticks together, the towns is the towns regardless. So that was my idea in building the trenches. And then there's people that have their own individuality and we just work together to cultivate those and bring it. So my goal is to bring the trenches to a different platform, YouTube, you know, and everybody, everything that we're doing, all these voices that we have that right. are very talented and powerful, bring it to somewhere that we can monetize it. Clubhouse is not doing that. That's How many people are on the average? <laughs> A day? Yeah. Three to five hundred people Okay. in the room. If it's, a, if it's content we got going on, up to six, seven, a thousand. Right. If right. you get up there. Right now, how is the... Um, Cat Williams, Cat Williams topic being handled on the trenches. Um, I haven't seen, <laughs> I haven't seen anyone really talking about it yet, but it's something that I do want to talk about and bring up as a topic. Um, I've been working and then we've been filming, so I didn't get a chance to really sit down and discuss it. It's a little conversation here right. and there, but I think that's a conversation worth having, like as a discussion as a conversation piece because it was so many things that he said in that interview it's three hours long so there's a lot to talk about and a lot to unpack okay i had a beef with whack 100 probably like about a month or so ago really yeah wow. yeah yeah it, it, it wasn't he was kind of like i don't know met with something like something of that <laughs> nature something i didn't appreciate but I'm glad it's able, you know, he's become an ally for you, and I wish you great luck yeah. in 2020. Why can somebody, I think that's uh, easily misunderstood. <laughs> he's easily misunderstood. I think if you don't understand the personality type of him, it's easy to bump heads, you know, especially as alpha men. Right. People will take it the wrong way, but he's a cool person. I think when he fucks with you, he's resourceful, whatever... Whatever resources he has, he, he'll offer it. And I think that that's one thing that's dope about him. He's not like one of those known people that's like gatekeeping. Right. How has it been working with Troy? I mean, amazing. Amazing. I've known him for a long time, even before we started filming together. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. Cool very guy. Long time. Yeah, so I, I know him personally. So I think he's another one that's also easily misunderstood yeah. and I think that that's probably why I took a like in the whack because they kind of have similar personality types and I understand right. it I have brothers I don't have no sisters so I okay. get along with the guys real easy the last thing I want you to do is pull those faces out from up under that <laughs> table and show my viewers what you're working with over there we're going to use them like, like cue cards or, or yes, you know, flash cards flash my cards. idea of this was I don't know if you're familiar with the website uh, Boxed In yeah. <laughs> so they have these like <laughs> emoticons that people usually wow. like, the faces pop up. The faces. Yep. So these are like 
the human form on <laughs> the real life <laughs> tax stone okay that's one tax stone oh y'all got we a got few this of them one. this is like the what the fuck <laughs> okay um we got gonzo nose my son oh, oh my goodness with the one two curly right. lips we got I ain't playing with you, Tyson Campbell. Tyson. We got, we got one. <laughs> Vladimir. <laughs> the Vladimir face. Yeah. Somebody saying too much, giving them too much information. Right. We got one. Uh, who else is another one? We don't use this one too much because it's not really relevant. Jermaine <laughs> Champagne. I didn't know you had that down in yeah, there. Yeah, it, it's kind of like it's not relevant. Jermaine so Champagne. <laughs> another one. Vladimir. Another one. Another one. <laughs> oh man, this nigga's ugly. That's an ugly nigga. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Damn. It really depends on the mood, you know? It's my favorite right here. This is, <laughs> this is when Tyson got shot in the projects. And he was saying, I will stab your mother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That one's funny right there. So it's been a pleasure. A it's been a pleasure to have you grace my <laughs> camera. Yes, yes, thank you. Tell thank my you. viewers where they can find you at on social media and I'm going to get up out of here. I mean, catch me on Instagram, uh, Queen Wolf. That's queenwolf.xx. And catch me in the trenches on Clubhouse if you dare. You'll find me. Just log in. I'm usually there. As soon as you log in, you're going to find the trenches. Thank you. <laughs>